The world will be plunged into darkness for hours, during which time demons will roam the earth and cause great destruction and suffering. The faithful are urged to stay indoors during this time, with their doors and windows closed and covered, and to pray and repent for their sins. Hell will be let loose on earth, and the earth will be covered in darkness. Those who do not believe in or trust in my power will be painted with terror as a result of the thunder and lightning. Good day, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. May you get to enjoy and cherish the beautiful gift called life today. God's blessings are entangled with each one of your smiles, love. Today, we would like to share with all of you the message from Our Lady via Luz de Maria, which is about the hour of darkness in the next June of this year. It's coming. To ensure that as many people as possible see this video, kindly take a moment to share this video and subscribe to this channel. May this message touch your heart and help to bring you close to the conversation of souls and the conversion of sinners. If you believe so, please type, Lord have mercy on us. Before coming to the messages of Our Lady, we will pray together with the short prayer to Our Lady. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. And now, Our Lady starts the message, Beloved children of my heart, I bless you, I protect you, I assist you. Children, Saint Michael the Archangel and his legions protect the earth's four cardinal points. The heavenly armies keep watch over all of humanity and are ready to respond to a summons from someone to protect it and keep the devil away. The hours of darkness will occur on one of the June Sundays this year. Demons will roam the planet and inflict enormous havoc and suffering for hours as the world is enveloped in darkness. During this time, the faithful are urged to stay inside, keep their doors and windows covered, pray, and confess their sins. The prolonged periods of total darkness will affect the entire planet. Nothing will be discernible, and an airborne virus will spread and harm non-believers. There will be no man-made lights available during this night, with the exception of blessed candles. Hell will be let loose on earth, and the earth will be covered in darkness. Those who do not believe in or trust in my power will be painted from terror as a result of the thunder and lightning. No windows should be opened during these three days of horrific darkness since doing so would lead everyone to instantly die if they saw the earth during those days of punishment and its terrible color. The earth will split, and the sky will catch fire. Beloved children, at this very moment you find yourselves in the midst of what I have revealed and is yet to be fulfilled in this world. Nurture your inner calmness, as Jesus' children, nothing can upset you unless you accept it. Be strong in your faith and gentle, tolerant beings. Children, with powers that seem to be on different continents, will be quite near. These are painful and frightening times, but my Divine Son's children shouldn't be afraid because Saint Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael are always there to guide you. The darkness will be harmful, dangerous as well as severe because there will be no light or electricity. The man-made light will be useless, everything will light off and be deep into darkness. A beeswax candle is the only light that shines in those hours. This kind of candle is blessed by God, therefore, the candles would shield us from the demons that would be released from hell during those days. Blessings are spread over the children of my Divine Son, may they not be overcome with fear nor dominated by their minds. During three days of darkness, instead of fear, my children, you must pray, 
Pray and pray because praying helps you overcome the pain and is the light that guides you to come closer to our Lord. Through praying, you and your sins are forgiven and blessed. Receive my maternal blessing. I love you, children of my heart, I love you, Mother Mary. Hail Mary most pure, conceived without sin. Hail Mary most pure, conceived without sin. Hail Mary most pure, conceived without sin. That's the end of Our Lady's message to Luz de Maria. In the message, Our Lady mentioned about the beeswax candle which can guide us to overcome the terror of darkness as well as be the light for people during these hours. As you know, beeswax candles are candles made from a wax that is produced by honeybees. They come in many different forms, rolled, hand-dipped in his completely natural candle, which is blessed by God. Therefore, we should bring these candles to the church, pray and receive the blessing from God to have candles for the hours of darkness. Our Lady gave us the signal, the message, therefore, we should join hands together to overcome this disaster and praying is the first thing we can do. Now, let's pray to Jesus, Jesus, I believe you are the Son of God, that you died on the cross to rescue me from sin and death and to restore me to the Father. I choose now to turn from my sins, my self-centeredness, and every part of my life that does not please you. I choose you. I give myself to you. I receive your forgiveness and ask you to take your rightful place in my life as my Savior and Lord. Come reign in my heart, Fill me with your love and your life, and help me to become a person who is truly loving a person like you. Restore me, Jesus. Live in me. Love through me. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen, Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, Hail, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, Poor banished children of Eve, to thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this veil of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us, and after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus, O merciful, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for watching, and until next time, stay blessed and continue to pray for God to show all of us with His graces and blessings.